Next guest is the doctor who diagnosed CTE in NFL athletes. However, for the first time, he's discovered it in a living person. That living person player would be former Minnesota linebacker Fred McNeil. The author of Truth Doesn't Have a Side, Dr. Bennett Amalu, Amalu joins us now. Doctor, you found this in a living person. This opens up to the possibility of testing players discovering it in active players who then refuse to play anymore or file a lawsuit. This is another hit on football, isn't it? No, no, I don't think so, Stewart. This is um, a discovery that I believe would enhance football. Uh, like I have said all across the country, we should stop making this about football or about the NFL. I've always said this is a decision for each and every individual. The NFL, for crying out loud, is a corporation. Like many other corporations, it sells a product, which is football. And what do corporations do to generate revenue and turn out profits? So rather than making it about the NFL, we should make it about good health. What this discovery tells us is if we can perform a clinical phase three trial, Okay, and then approach the FDA for an approval. We could now move it to the next step, which is to discover a treatment for CTE. Okay, and I believe uh, but, if, if we can raise the money, we it, can do this in, a, in less okay. than five years. Would it be true to say that almost everybody by their mid 30s has some degree of CTE? Would that be true? Well, I, I wouldn't use the word CTE, or, but or brain everybody, damage. if you if, if you've been exposed, yes, brain damage is a more appropriate terminology. There is no safe blow to the human uh, head or human brain. But there is an environmental and genetic interface. Some people are more predisposed to it. And like I have said, I think it's not a very good public health strategy to avoid blows to your head as much as you can. Yes, to to a then, certain extent, your statement is right. Then it would have a dramatic impact on football itself. Well, I think football as a subculture should and would evolve with humanity. We, as a species, we evolve. So football, the football we play today was not how we played it 100 years ago. So I believe every aspect of our lives would evolve. As we evolve, we become more intelligent and we begin to give, give up the less intelligent ways of our past. So yes, you're right. Television would evolve. Um, software development would evolve. Same as football, same as soccer, same as ice hockey, same mm. as every aspect of our lives. Okay, we got it. Doctor, we appreciate you being with us this morning because I think this is quite a, a, a change coming for football and we appreciate you being here.